Wicky, wicky, wong. Wicky, wong. Guess who's back? Back again. Yes, dear, dear friends, I am back with two more amazing Model 1's Vinyl Record Color Cubes. And to also let y'all know two things, number one, Model 1's is currently running their eighth anniversary sale. Happy anniversary, Model 1's, as well as a Mother's Day sale, and I think this runs through May the 15th. So hopefully, when you see this video, the sale will still be going on. But they also have a section of just $8 items, which I'll have linked down in the description box below. But the big, big, big news, as well as everything you're about to see in this video, is that I have a brand new discount code for y'all. It is MONAIL20. My affiliate link has not changed. I'll get into all of those deets a little bit later on in the video, but for right now, let's get to this amazing unboxing. Hey y'all, it's Tara. If you are brand new here, welcome to my channel. If you have been a long time subscriber, I so appreciate y'all coming back. I really enjoy our banter in the comments. Uh, please continue. Please continue to come on back. Today I have something so, so special. Special to me, anyway. Because Model 1's has sent over two color cubes. I have been a longtime supporter of Model 1's. Y'all already know how obsessed I am with their vinyl record color cubes. And if you don't know, here we go. I will plop this little video up here. Model 1's actually sent over two of their vinyl records. I did not pay for these. These are PR. These are actually the first vinyl record <laughs> PR palettes that I've received. Everything that y'all just saw in that little short clip, I purchased myself. That's how much I freaking love their vinyl record color cubes, as well as just overall their solid cream gel formula. It's fantastic. It is my favorite, my top, top, top favorite, and I have tried a bunch, honey. So this, I think, brings me up to 11, 11 vinyl record color cubes. Let me get these open because I do not remember the names of these palettes and they are not on any of the packaging. So let me get these open. I will sort of unbox them and I'm gonna swatch a few of these for y'all as well as do a little bit of nail art. So if you're unfamiliar with my obsession with Model 1's vinyl records, I was first uh, made aware of them, or maybe I just first stumbled across these vinyl records last summer, summer of 2022. And at that time, they only had eight of them. And I made it my mission to collect all eight. And I did not know that they would be releasing more palettes. So I literally spent an arm and a leg. I spent my own monies and I collected all eight that they had released up until that point. And then this spring, 2023, they released several more. And I don't, I don't know exactly how many new palettes they have. And I don't think I want to know because I've already purchased one. And y'all, my, my bank account is crying. But the reason I initially purchased my very first vinyl record was really just for the nostalgia of it all. I am of a certain age. Okay, hush your damn mouth. I am of that age where I, I grew up on vinyls. Okay, uh, I was born and I was alive. Actually, I was alive when eight tracks were a thing. Okay, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But these vinyl records just remind me of like the little, the 45s, right? And I can't really remember which uh, 45 was the very first one that I owned. It was either a Michael Jackson or a Madonna. That's all I know. Like 1983, 84-ish. And, and I'm talking about like the first 45 that I owned. But my mama raised me on all types of vinyls and all genres of music, honey. But those were hers. And so I did manage to collect my own little collection of 45s. So initially I started collecting these just based on nostalgia alone. And then a few weeks ago, I thought to myself, you know what? Cause I never used them. And I thought, you know what? If I got hit by a freaking beer truck tomorrow, 
I would be so sad that I never use my Color Cube vinyl records. So let's change that. So I took all the cellophane off of my vinyl records and that's sort of been my little mission here recently is to actually use the products. And I will of course have links to videos up in the cards that you guys can go see. Yes, I'm actually using them. Now I will tell y'all something. If you're coming from a gel polish, a bottled gel polish uh, like lifestyle okay the solid creams do take a little bit of getting used to but I'm gonna show y'all how to prep your brush how to store the brush how to clean the brush in between each color I'm gonna show y'all how to apply it so that it's not streaky and it's not yucky and you're not immediately turned off by a solid cream gel formula enough about my life story you're always gonna get your instructions here is the list of model ones so warnings all that kind of stuff this is gonna come in every single one of their solid cream formulas and now I do have 11 now of these but I also own three of the nine cube color cubes standard this is standard the brush is standard in all of these so here is your brush you're just gonna take the cap off and reveal your cutesy little brush you can put the cap on the back end to give y'all a big old long thing uh, I love how these break down you're gonna be saving space in all of your drawers I feel like I've gone over this so many times in all of my model ones solid cream gel videos but look at this it's just, I mean, they're so well packaged. They're just beautiful. I love these. I do wish that they had some sort of, I don't know, uh, like the name of, of the palette on here somewhere, but they don't and it's fine and I will absolutely live with that. So here is your color cube. Ooh. Oh, okay, so I have Donut Lover. Hello, I guess I could have shared that with y'all right off the rip. So this is a new one for 2023. This is Donut Lover. There are 21 different colors in here and each one of these solid gels is 0.74 ounces. They are small, but they do sort of, they go a long way. They do go a long way. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. There we go. It does say up here, you can mix your colors here. So even though there are 21 different colors in these little honey cube shaped compartments, you can mix and match up here to your little heart's content. The sky is the limit. So it will tell you uh, water droplets or bubbles upon unpacking are normal and they won't affect use. That is absolutely 100% true. And this is so satisfying, y'all. Here we go. Let me just shut up. Oh yeah. Look at it go. Oh yes. <gasps> Love that. Love that for me. Love this for y'all. Oh my God. So immediately my eye is drawn to this one. I do see uh, two Zhuzhis. This one might be sort of like a topper. Well, I guess they could both be toppers. Oh, well, this one's kind of Zhuzhi too. Let me get the other one unpackaged in this little bad boy. Ooh, thank you, Model Ones. I did want to let y'all know that of course I have a 20% off discount code for Model Ones. The link will be in the description box. Actually, all of my affiliate links are in the description box of every single video. If you can't find something, go to the About tab on my channel. I have everything listed. So please make sure that when you are shopping Model Ones that you do follow the link in the video. Oh yeah. Okay, pinks and purples. Oh boy. Look at it go. Okay, I've not even shown y'all the name of this palette. Weekend rhythm. I'm seeing lots of neons. Cannot wait to get to swatching. Okay, so I'm not going to use either of the two brand new brushes because I already have a brush that has been in play for quite some time. This is one that has been used 
many, many times. I will show y'all how I sort of clean my brush as well as prep it. Obviously this one's already been prepped, so just pretend like I'm using a brand new one. I'm gonna do four different colors from each of the two palettes as well as a couple little zhuzhy, little zhuzhy numbers over a black and white so y'all can see how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna plop a little bit of Model One's base coat down here on my palette. There we go, just two little puddles there. And then I will also put a little bit of alcohol on a little lint-free wipe off to the side over here. So let's pretend like this is a brand new brush. Of course, all brushes come with some sort of like a little glue. So you definitely wanna get rid of that. You can dip that in alcohol, uh, slip solution, some sort of brush cleaner if you would like to. After you do that, then you for sure want to come into your base coat, dip your bristles, and then just sort of wipe. Wipe, 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 wipe. And then you can also do a little wipey, little wipey wipe over here, but you can see there's still base coat within this brush. So the bristles have been primed. You're going to make sure that you want to go through and really get that base coat in between all of these bristles. Again, I've already used this brush, so I've done that before. So maybe per perhaps the little uh, tutorial that I gave you right now didn't look like that I really ran all of these bristles through the base coat, but this brush has been used and well-loved many, many, many times. So you do wanna get those bristles nice and soft. And then if I were to just stop here, I would cap this and this is how I would store it. Like my bristles are already ready to go. They are softened. They are just in prime use territory at this point. So we are gonna start with Donut Lover. I'm just gonna grab sort of four random creams and then do maybe a zhuzhi or two over the black or the white. When you go into your palette for the first time, you can, you can dig in, you can dig straight in and pull it up or you can go across a couple of times. Just make sure you have enough on your brush to fully sort of coat your, uh, your nail, your tip, whatever the heck it is you're doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig on in at an angle and pull it up. So that right there is how much of the gel I will be using on this one popstick. And I tend to start somewhere in the middle, the middle towards the top, towards the cuticle area, and then work my way up towards the cuticle and then back down using all of the product that I scooped out of that color. And your first coat, of course, will be a little bit patchy. That's just the nature. And I always touch my pinky. I hate that. Definitely always wanna get that off before moving on. See how that cream has sort of gathered up here? You can wipe it off, it's fine. Or wipe it off, you know, on your free edge, what have you. But then continue to use that same product. And I do not have the cap on the end of mine because I actually really enjoy using a little stubby brush. It's fine, it's fine. So your, uh, your first coat, gonna be patchy. It's quite all right, it's quite all right. See, patchy, patchy over here. Uh, this is probably a product of me not having a sticky base coat. You know, there's no tacky layer for this cream gel to cling to. It's fine, I'm just gonna cure this and then coat two, will be perfection. And the instructions from Model 1s in these color cubes do say to cure for 30 to 60 seconds. I do 60 seconds across the board. I don't care what brand it is. I just do 60 seconds. That's just what I be doing. So now I'm gonna go back in with my second coat. Literally, that's all the product that you need. You're not gonna be using one entire little, you know, honeycomb shaped compartment on one nail. So you're gonna get so much freaking product. There is so much more product in here than what you may think the first time you see it, trust me. So here is coat number two. And if you have to go in with just a smidge more, and when I say smidge, I mean smidge. Don't be afraid to do it. 
you do want to keep your coats thin. I can already tell just from working with this one color. It is more of a crelly than a cream. It does have a little bit of a jelly-like consistency and coverage, but that's uh, coat number two. And if I turn it over, you can or would see uh, low spots, you know what I mean? but you definitely wanna keep your coats thin. If you think you're applying a little bit too much, just let the product sit on the nail for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds before you pop it into the lamp because even though it's solid, it does heat up and sort of, I don't wanna say melt, but it does get a little easier to work with. It does sort of uh, melt down and emulsify a little bit. So if you think you have a little bit too much on, let it sit for 10, 15 seconds and then pop it into the lamp. So while that is curing, I did wanna show y'all how to clean your brush in between colors. So you're gonna wipe off all of that initial excess onto a lint-free wipe and then come into this base coat that we have applied on your palette, pick some up, Come to a clean area of your palette, flip your brush over so all that base coat's on the bottom, wipe, and then bounce through. Bounce, 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 bounce that brush, honey. Bounce it. It's going to push up the product through the top of those bristles, and then you can flip your brush over and do some more wiping. Wipe, wipe, wipe. You can keep wiping, but if you feel like, oh, there's a lot of product on there, go right back on into your base. Pick up a little bit more, flip it over, and then come back over here and just bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce that product. You can flip your brush however you want to do it. And just keep pushing that product out of either side of those bristles and then wipe wipe it on both sides so that is going to be clean enough for me like i would feel comfortable going in with this brush into a lighter color of gel if that helps so there you go so here we go there's two coats of that beautiful plummy raspberry deliciousness which one do i want to do next uh, mm, I'm kind of really feeling this one. Let's try maybe a lighter color. Let's go with this guy. Let's go with this little beauty over here. I don't know. It's kind of a pinky ivory. So we're going to pick that up. That's how much I'm going to use. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, it is definitely, it definitely has a rosy nude vibe. Definitely has a rosy nude. Oh man, what a freaking beautiful base color for nail art. Stunning. Love that. So I will leave that to sort of uh, self-level a little bit. Forgive the fuzz. I'm sorry. There's just probably going to be fuzz. Sometimes it'd be like that. So here is the second coat of that beautiful color. I'm going to be quiet from here on out, but I will remind y'all, click the link in the description box below that will take you directly to Model 1's you know what? Just try. Try one palette. It doesn't have to be the 21 color vinyl record. You can pick up one of the little nine cubes. So if you just want to spend eight bucks, right, to try the product that y'all know I freaking rave about and that I flip and love, now's your chance. You can, and, and you can use my link and my discount code and save 20% off of the eight doll hairs. So there you go. So while I swatch, let's just do a little bit of key keying. So about this new discount code, last week I get an email from my PR rep telling me that Model 1s has suspended my BLL20 code due to unauthorized use. And I'm like, what? Yeah, somehow my code wound up on websites for like coupon codes and deals and stuff and was just being spammed without clicking through my affiliate link. So I wasn't earning, you know, commission, and that was messing with my coins. So they've given me this MO Nail 20 code, and I hate that I can't customize it to suit my branding, because believe me, I asked about that. 
but at least my affiliate link did not change because that would have been a nightmare if I'd had to update the link in all 260 plus videos that I have on this here app. I mean, could you imagine? So that's that on that. Just a reminder to please click the link, uh, you know, click through the link if you're gonna shop Model 1s. Look at this creaminess. Look at this creamy deliciousness. Oh, love that, and that color's amazing as well. So yeah, please click on my link, and thank y'all so much to the folks who do, because again, I do earn commission. Y'all are really helping me out and supporting my channel as well. So now let's go ahead and do some talking about the pros of using solid gels versus the gel polish that comes in bottles. Number one, there's no running, there's no pooling. It stays where you put it. And because there's no pooling, your coats stay thin and it will add zero extra bulk to the nail. So if you're one of these people who has acrylics or if you apply acrylics, you know, to your own nails, you know, acrylics by nature are just gonna be thicker, right? than say like a soft gel tip that you glue on or adhere on. So if you're doing acrylics, the last thing you wanna do, the last thing you want to do is add extra bulk with super thick gel polish. So two thin coats of a solid gel, literally no added bulk. So I love that. And if you're working on, well, if you're working on a human, a human being, then you're gonna have the body temperature, right? Like the the warmth from the, the, the human being is going to sort of help the product emulsify, you know, the solid gel. Or if you're swatching on tips, as I'm doing, uh, when I have my first coat in the lamp, I load up my brush with product for the second coat. So then as soon as that tip comes out, you know, after that first coat has cured, you know what I'm saying, I immediately start applying my second coat because the heat, you know, the tip is already going to be warm. And so that solid gel, well, y'all saw, y'all saw on that corally orange, it's super creamy. It's super creamy. And I think you're going to see it whenever I get to the blue, if I have not already done the blue, because I ain't been paying attention. No, the blue is going to come up and you're going to see, first of all, look at this yellow. Look at the coverage on this. It is so, I mean, for, you know, y'all know yellows can be problematic, right? Uh, that's just, I don't know, something about yellow. But one coat coverage, look at this, look at this, beautiful. One super thin coat. So look at this blue. So I'm gonna pick up this blue, which is like the blue of my dreams. And look at, look at this, this right here. Look at that little tail hanging off. That's how freaking soft and creamy these, these are. They're amazing. So, if you have any questions about solid gels or just about Model 1's products in general, uh, their products, how to apply something, something, let me know. Uh, drop your question in the comments and I'll get back to you. So, of course, I'm just going to sit back and let these swatches play out and then I'll meet y'all back here for my final review and my little ombre tutorial. So, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> And we are back, you guys. I did two coats of everything that y'all about to see. Look at these delicious,
cream colors. I'm living for this entire color story. All four of these colors together is just, I, I don't know, it's doing something to my soul. It makes my spirit happy. This is the blue shimmer. Did not really care for this over black or white. Okay, so here's the Weekend Rhythm palette. Love all of these as well. Very citrus vibes with that yellow and orange. Literally, all these creams performed flawlessly. Loved every single thing about these. But can we please talk about this glitter? This is so gorgeous. Again, two coats right here. This is something that I would have mixed when, when Bases Loaded Lacquer was a thing. A gorgeous violet jelly with just beautiful random colored glitter, like red square glitters. Come on. Uh, this shimmer, again, did not really care for it over black or white, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it'd be, it'd be that way. So, okay, let's get into the ombre suit. I am going to use the yellow in this amazing green, and I'm going to work just straight out of the palette. So right here, I'm gonna put the green on one half and the yellow on the other. Now, one thing that I did differently this time, I actually put a base coat on this tip and it kind of screwed me up because it just stuck. My brush just stuck, honey, look at that. It was not gliding at all because of that sticky base. So as many times as I told myself, okay, girl, don't get your colors mixed up, right? So yellow's gonna be on one side, you know, like the, the right side, green gonna be on the left told myself 57 times, I still managed to screw it up. Like, come on, girl. I'm like, okay, line this up, yellow's on the right, green's on the left, and I still somehow twisted my brush, and look at this, completely screwed it up. So I'm like, you know what? Lord, I can't do something as simple as this. So I just went straight in. <laughs> with each color one at a time but I, I sort of had a template going right like I had that first little I don't know two-tone thing going on uh, to sort of guide me so I'm just gonna apply the green on the right side wipe my brush and then come back in and do the yellow on the other side and this is pretty much just gonna be and y'all know how ombres are they're very faffy like you're gonna be brush 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 in uh, whether you use a, a flat gel application brush like I'm doing, or even if you're using an ombre brush, uh, or even just a liner brush and just swoop in, you know, blend in those colors together, there's just going to be a lot of brushing, a lot of brush stroking, and it's fine. Basically, just fart around with it until you're happy. Your first coat does not have to be anything special because you're going to cure that and then come back in with your second coat. And that's really where the magic happens. Actually, I take that back. The magic happens when you top coat it because that's going to smooth out any lumpy bumpy. Not that I had any lumpy bumpies because this polish is smooth like butter. But then another way you could also do your ombres if you didn't want to work straight out of the palette is just take a little bit of each color onto a separate palette and then you can go in with your brush, like you can sort of blend them on the palette a little bit. You know, half one color on one side and one color on the other. Like this, and sort of blend them. Just sort of get you started, you know, get yourself started. Didn't really work that well for me. Uh, well, it did, but you couldn't, I don't know, you couldn't really see. I, oh, oh, no, I, I actually used a, a little bit too much yellow. So I tried to go back in with a little bit more green. But again, my, for some reason, my lighting really washed out this green. Like, it looks so much more subtle, this, the green does, under my lighting than, than it does in real life. But when I finish this, you're really going to see. You're going to see the, the two completely different colors. So I did three different nails. I only show y'all, uh, I show y'all this one. And then I did, um, I think I show y'all the, I don't remember if it, I show you all the pink and purple or the two different oh yeah okay but look how beautifully these blend together they're just stunning and then I did a blue ombre off camera so this is um that's only one coat uh, I didn't show you all the second coat but here's how everything turned out okay look at these absolutely beautiful perfect gradients I freaking love this 
So if you stuck around this long, cookies, kudos, and trophies to y'all. Oh, by the way, happy Mother's Day. I freaking love every single one of y'all. Dog moms, pet moms, plant moms, friend moms, human moms, whatever. I love y'all. Look at this little guy. He wants me to be his mom. Okay, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!